All right, so let's begin learning how we can install WordPress on our computer. Now WordPress, it's like a software that we can use it to create our website, okay? And if you want to run it on our computer, it requires a server, okay? Don't worry, it may sound complicated, but the steps are very easy, okay? You can just follow the steps. You don't need to know every information about what we are going to do, okay? So here I wrote the steps very clear. The first thing that we need to do, we need to download this software, okay? So I have put down the link here for you and download it. So based on the um, operating system that you're using, if you're using Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, you can select the version that you want. For example, right now I'm using Mac. I'm going to click on Mac OS. Okay. It will take usually a couple of seconds till the download get ready. Okay. If the download didn't get ready, the, if it didn't start to download the file, you can just um, click on this uh, word here and it will start download. Okay. So I'm going to save it on my desktop. It is downloading it. And when it is done, okay, when it is ready, we will run it. As I said, it's straightforward. Let's come back to the steps here. So visit this website and download the version, then run the installer and follow the steps that it shows us. Okay. So I'm going to come here. Let me find the installation. Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to run it. Here is the installation on Mac. I'm going to double click on it and wait for the installation to get ready. So sometimes, for example, especially if you're using Mac, it will show some reactions that this, um, this application is not verified by um, OS and it tries to avoid installing it. The way to overcome this is to just right click on it and click on open. Then Again, it will show us a pop-up and uh, it will force the software to open. Okay, if it didn't show, we can try it again. Now we can write down the password of your computer. And then it will start the installation. Usually on Windows, these steps are much simpler but than comparing to Mac OS and usually you won't face these issues that i just showed you anyway follow the steps okay don't touch anything just click on next and then it will start to install this software now this software what it does it will create a virtual server for us on our computer it doesn't have any harm okay it will not create any issues it's perfectly safe to use it right so don't worry about that. Then when we created a virtual server on our computer, then we will be able to install WordPress. Okay. So let's wait for the installation to get complete. All right. So the installation is complete now. Okay. Um, I'm going to check launch the software and click on finish. Okay. It will open a page on my browser as well. I'm going to close this and here is the software. Okay, this is how it looks. Now let's look at the other steps that we have ahead of us. So we have completed step one. Okay, now let's go for step two. It says a start the service. Once this, the installation is complete, launch it. And go to control panel. Now here it is not written control panel. Here it is written manage servers. Okay, so we come there and then it told us to start Apache and MySQL services, okay? So here, Apache server is running right now, but MySQL database and the other one is not running, okay? I'm just gonna come here and click on start all, or you can just select each of them and click on the start on the right side. So I'm gonna click on start all, okay? It's trying to start them until it is starting these servers. Let's come to step three, create a database for WordPress, okay? In your browser, visit this address, okay? HTTP, localhost, PHP, my admin, 
Okay, I'm just gonna copy this address. Make sure you don't copy the dot here, okay? So the servers are running. I'm just gonna come to my browser and paste this address, okay? Let me make it bigger so you can see everything clear. All right, so everything is okay. Now let's go for the next step. Click on database, okay? Click on databases and create a new database. You might name it WordPress, okay? That depends on you, but uh, you can just select what you want. Of course, we um, try to avoid capital letters, okay? So not like the way it's written here. So I'm gonna come here, go to databases, and here I need to select a name. I'm gonna write down WordPress and click on create. Pay attention to the folders on the left side. Now WordPress appeared here, okay? So let's go for the next step. Now we need to download WordPress, okay? We need to go to the WordPress web website, okay, website. <laughs> we need to go to WordPress website and download the final version. So I'm gonna click on official website or you can just go on Google and search for WordPress. The website, the official website of WordPress is called wordpress.org. I'm gonna click on get WordPress. And then here, okay, I have the option to download the WordPress version 6.3.1 that is available right now and it is the final version for it. So I'm just gonna click on download and I'm gonna download it on my desktop. Okay, it will take um, some time to get ready. Let me see if the download is complete. I'm just gonna create a new folder bring it here and then paste the WordPress file that folder that I downloaded, the zip folder that I downloaded here, okay? So let me make it bigger. So this is the folder that I just downloaded from wordpress.org, okay? Let's go for the next step. Extract the zip file. I'm gonna come here and extract it. You can do the same on Windows, it's straightforward. All right, so inside it, we have these files, okay? Now the next step is to navigate to htdocs folder in our server software that we installed. For example, on Windows, it usually be on this address, okay? So for Mac, I need to come to applications, okay? Here are my applications, and here is the folder for this software, for this server that we just installed. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Now we need to go to htdocs, okay? And then what we have to do? We should create a new folder inside htdocs. This will be your website directory. So any file, any folder regarding our website will be inside this folder that we'll create. For example, I'm gonna name it my test site okay i'm just going to copy this name come to htdocs okay and create a new folder here and i'm going to name it my test site okay where is it here it is okay so let's go for the next step after we created this folder we need to move the extracted wordpress files into this folder okay so these are the files that we ex extracted we need to move them here. So I'm just going to select all of them and bring them here. Okay, and close this WordPress folder. Right, so step number four is done. Now let's go for step number five. We need to run and install WordPress. To do so, we need to go to this address, okay, localhost, okay, the name of our folder. In this case, it is my site my test site okay so i'm gonna come here where is it okay let's take this address and paste it here change the last part my test site okay so when you come here because we pasted the 
WordPress files here. It will show the installation of WordPress to us. Okay. So now we need to select some information here. Click on let's go. And on the next page, we need to add some information. So come here. As I mentioned, you will see a WordPress setup. Okay. Click on continue. Then on the next page, click on let's go, which we did already. Then here we need to fill the information for database name. Okay. We need to select the database name that we created. Okay. If you remember, where was it? Okay. Here we selected WordPress. Do you remember? Okay. So we need to write the same name WordPress. Okay. Now for username, we need to write down root. Okay. So I'm going to come here, write down root and for password. Okay. Leave this part blank. Okay. And for database host, we need to let it be as local host. I think it is on local host. So for password, we need to let it be empty for database host. We leave it be as local host. And for the next part, let it be as it is and click on submit. Okay. Then it will show you uh, the information inside a file called wp-config.php. Okay. Now, if you, if you scroll down, the information that we added in the previous page, for example, database name, WordPress, user, root are all here. Run the installation. And this is a common error that we see. It went back to the first step. Okay. If we click on let's go again, it will bring the same information that we just added. Okay. And we need to fill it again. This problem happened because in the files that we have here, if you, if you scroll, if you click on submit here, it is trying to change wp-config.php, right? I'm just going to copy this name. If we come here, we have this file, but the name is different. Just try to rename it or remove the sample. Okay. It should be wp-config.php. Okay. Now, if we come here, run the installer, we will face another error. Let's check our file here. I'm just going to open it with text editor. Okay. That you all must have on your computer. And if we zoom in, okay, we must have the information that we added here in those forms, right? So here, look for this part, define, then we have DB user, then we have username, then we have DB password, password, etc. Okay. You should look for that. Again, I explained it here as well, somewhere. Where was it? Okay. Here it is. Okay. So I mentioned if in the step five, you, um, faced error. Okay. You have to make sure that these are changed to these in your WP dash config.php. Okay. So we need to have these. You can just select all of them from here or just the information that we wanted to add. For example, for DB name, we need to have WordPress. Here we have DB name inside quotation. It must be WordPress for user. It should be root, right? For password, where is it? We will leave it be empty. Okay. So remove the password here and let it be empty inside quotation and the rest of them, let it be as it is. Okay. And when you're done, just save it and close it and come here and refresh the page. And then it will jump on WordPress in installation. Okay. So if you have any issues here, try to um, follow the steps that I wrote here for you completely for step five. Okay. I mentioned everything. And when you're done here, we completed the step five, right? Let's come here. We click on submit run in installation. And here we are. Fill out the site details. Okay. Let me close some of these pages. So here we need to fill out the site detail. Now, this is the site title, okay? What we want to name our, our uh, the title of our website. 
For example, I'm going to name it my site. Okay. Now, pay attention to this part. It is really, really, really important. Username and password. Okay. So for username, you need to select a name that you remember. Okay. So you can write it somewhere. Uh, you don't miss it later. I'm going to just write down, for example, Puya. Okay. And the password, I'm going to just write down one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It doesn't matter if it is big or not, but since it is on our computer only, it is perfectly safe. And we just want to practice, right? Check the confirm, uh, the use of weak password. Okay. And here you need to add an email, for example, Puya puyit.com is one of my emails okay and that would be all okay so do not lose your username and your password okay this is needed when you want to log into your website later okay click on install wordpress okay and that's it wordpress is installed click on login and now we need to write down the username and password that i just mentioned I'm going to write down Puya, one, two, three, four, five, six. And remember me, click on login. And boom, we are in our WordPress website. And if I come here on the top navigational bar, click on visit site. We will see our website here, right? So, of course, I zoomed in so you can see everything clear and our WordPress is running and we can use this forever for free. Okay. That's the good part. So you can practice as much as you want without any problem. Of course, since this is offline, okay, this is not connected to internet. When we want to install plugins or install themes on our website, we will face some issues that I will show you later how you can fix that as well. It's straightforward and simple. Okay. So. That was all about this lesson. And also if you come to WordPress, okay, before it was inside, it was empty. But now that we have installed WordPress, we can see all of this information, all of these files and folders inside our WordPress database. Anyway, that was the site tip. So we have our WordPress website ready to use, all right? So that was all about this lesson. Do your best to complete these steps. In case if you faced any errors or issues that I didn't talk about it in this part, the easy way to solve it, okay, the fastest way to solve it is to just copy and paste the error that you have inside ChatGPT, okay? For example, here I mentioned that, okay, I tried to install the theme, I tried to do it this way and that way, and then I faced this error, connection information to perform. I just copied and pasted the error here for ChatGPT. And then ChatGPT explained how I can fix this issue here. Okay. So along the way, if you face any issue, the fastest way to solve it, you can just copy and paste the issue that you faced on ChatGPT. And then it will tell you the solution. And again, af if after that you couldn't solve that problem, you can contact me and I do my best to solve that issue as fast as I can for you. Okay. So that was all about this lesson. If you're ready, let's go for the next one.